He's a small Hobima boy skating towards big dreams, and this New Year's Eve he'll be part of the World Junior Championship Games. Oh, really excited. <laughs> I'll be on TV. Ethan Smallboy was chosen out of a draw to skate a flag across the championship arena for the Czechoslovakia versus Finland game oh, on December 31st. His single parent father Sheldon says the little hockey player lives and breathes the sport and he couldn't be happier for his son. Oh, that's, that's awesome. It means everything. And for my son to get a chance to do that, that's a, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity for my son. And I'm really happy for him that he's going to experience something like that. But the opportunity is much more than just hockey, says Smallboy, who explained the sport has helped keep his son and two daughters away from trouble in the violence-ridden reserve. He hears all the negative, but I tell him not to bother listening to any of that and just focus on hockey because it, it can take him places that some kids probably will never be able to go. It can, you know, bring a lot that... I can't give them as a single parent, so and uh, and education-wise too, I uh, like I I really stress that st stress it that education uh, is the key to our survival as Native people. His dream for Ethan, who wants to play in the NHL when he grows up, is to go to college hockey where he can mix hockey with Fancy. education. It's a rule in the house that if Ethan doesn't bring home good grades, his practices and games is at stake. And as for Ethan, he hopes to one day play for the Oilers and be as famous as his favorite NHL player, Sidney Crosby. He makes awesome deeds that I try to do. Reporting for Sun News, I'm Jasmine Franklin.